Well, g'day everybody and welcome back to On The Road for our very first uh, episode. Well, it's I'm calling it episode one, but uh, because the previous episode was more of an introduction. Um, so I've, ha- I've been having a little bit of a fiddle and I have done some, uh, I did do another run uh, after the last video. Uh, just to do some testing out and stuff like that, but uh, I will pre-apologize because uh, they're doing some construction work over the road outside and uh, you may hear some drop saws and things like that uh, going off, but uh, if that's the case and and you do hear it, I do apologize for that uh, little sound glitch. So, oh, if we go into our uh, map here, as you can see, we're here in uh, Magd- uh, Magdeburg, uh, which I did a run to um, yesterday afternoon. And what I want to do is I want to head back up towards Hamburg because in the next episode, um, I would like to um, take the semi-trailer for, for a drive, a bit of a drive, and uh, test that out. So... What I'm going to do is we're going to head up towards Hamburg, but I am going to, um, hopefully, fingers crossed, show you how to do multiple deliveries. So here we are at a truck service center here. And as you can see, we have uh, multiple deliveries here that we can do. Uh, We've got uh, eight headlights um, to going to Berlin. We're looking for something to, uh, heading over to Hamburg, um, possibly Brennan first, and Hanos as well. So we'll check out what we've got. We've got one going to Hamburg there, so we will definitely take that. Um, and that can be added to our truck. Uh, let's see. Dortmund, Duisburg, Frankfurt... Uh, where do we want to see if we can go? So we could go to Hanover first and then up to Hamburg. So if we can find something here to Hanover as well, which is there is here. Hanover. Yes. So we'll take that delivery as well. Um, we may even see if we can get one more going to... Uh, well, to Hanover again, or otherwise up to where our home base is. So, Kassel, Stuttgart, Bremen, Berlin, Köln, Munich, Hamburg. There's another one there to Hamburg, so we might grab that as well. All right, beautiful. So, we've got three deliveries there. Uh, obviously, our first delivery wants to be the delivery to... Uh, where is it? Magburg there. Uh, to Hamburg, Hamburg, Hanover wants to be the first delivery, so we'll put that up the top there. Right. Okay, so, and I'm still testing this out. Let's get into our truck. Let's turn our track IR on, lovely, and uh, I might just make a quick adjustment to my microphone if you don't mind. There we go, that's probably better. Uh, and we shall get underway. So we'll start this truck up. Initial, come on, initial, initial. There we go. And start. Okay, lovely. Okay, we will uh, put that into there. And I've already got the uh, rear doors open, so we should be able to back straight in, thankfully. And what we want to work towards in this company is uh, we want to work towards um, being able to purchase another truck, get get an employee probably is uh, probably our our first uh, our first goal for this is to get another employee to drive one of these trucks but we'll probably do that after um, after we've given this semi truck a a bit of a run because we'll probably have our employee driving that so we'll go over to the dispatcher and there we go and click OK so we've got these ones to uh, load up and click OK there I will move the truck forward and we will just check our load before we head off 
and it should have loaded the uh, entire three uh, lots of deliveries that we have to do so we shouldn't have to worry about that all right let's just jump out here and as you can see we've ne we haven't quite filled our truck up we're probably I, I don't know halfway maybe I'm guessing uh, but uh, you can certainly do more than three deliveries at once and uh, I haven't tested out yet whether or not you can actually do those deliveries uh, whether you can do pickups from different areas in a city and uh, do all those deliveries but I'm sort of guessing that you probably can so if we have a look in our map here you'll see that uh, what's happened is that the GPS has set itself to go over to Hanover uh, which is where our first drop-off is and then our second stage which is in blue is up to uh, up to Hamburg for a drop-off there and then our third stage is in the yellow and then after that we can head down to our home base so let's get underway so I think this is one of those games that uh, in all honesty I've, I've actually been thinking about quite a lot since I started playing it which to me is is the sign of uh, of something that uh, is you know if, if, I, if I start thinking about a game when I'm not playing it then uh, I'm obviously enjoying it oh penalty for drive time exceeded we didn't do the uh, we did the cardinal sin we're on rest time so let's change that over put the card in change and we're in driving mode so there you go well there's our first penalty that we've got uh, I should have thought about that. It's something that I've got to get used to, obviously, because uh, <laughs> certainly not used to that in other simulators that I play, having to put that card in and having to remember to do that. So we'll have to try and remember that in the future. I'm not sure exactly what kind of fine we got, but we will be able to tell at some point anyway. Yeah, so basically, yeah, if, if, if I start thinking about a game and thinking about uh, playing a game outside of, uh, outside of actually doing any gaming, then uh, obviously for me that's, a, uh, th that's an indication that I'm actually um, uh, really enjoying a game. So What we will do after we, uh, in the next episode, after we take this uh, semi truck for a bit of a spin, um, we will uh, work on earning enough money to purchase another truck. Uh, we'll put our employee on. We'll put him on the uh, him or her on the um, on the semi truck, and we'll continue to drive this heavy rigid. And then we'll work towards buying another one and the next one that we buy so that we can get a good test out of it as well is we'll buy an MAM, we'll buy a man truck so uh, looking forward to that and giving that a bit of a test out. I have had a drive of the man when I was testing all this out and uh, yeah it's quite nice, quite nice indeed. So we might close this off here because we really don't need that and uh, we're not far, we're out of town now, so uh, we'll, we'll get onto the highway and the freeways and, uh, and see what happens. Hope everybody's well and uh, that you're getting lots of gaming in. It's definitely a, a perfect time to get as much gaming as you possibly can in. My uh, plans for this afternoon is to sit down and uh, start recording a series on Far Cry 5, so... I haven't worked out exactly how I'm going to do that yet uh, in regards to I would like to sit down probably and do a maybe you know like a, a, a four hour session while I have the opportunity and uh, then probably break that up into 30 minute videos to, to put up online but I've uh, been looking very forward to playing that I've been holding off on it until I had enough time to sit down um, for, for an extended period as opposed to just sitting down for uh, you know to record a 30 minute episode because uh, I, I do tend to sink into those games so all right so we need to stay in this lane because I think Hanover's uh, we've got to turn off to the right to head to Hanover we've got to pull off of here by the looks of that signage uh, 
let's see. We certainly don't have to go that way. Uh, yes, we need to stay in this lane, so we'll stay in this lane and we are veering off here. So definitely really, really enjoying it. Um, still working stuff out as we go, but um, yeah, it's, it's so far it's an absolutely fantastic game. I can't really criticise it uh, for anything at all. They are updating. I did say that it was a relatively old game. Well, relatively old is uh, is probably an overstatement. It was it was actually released in December last year, uh, and they have been putting a lot of updates out and uh, uh, making some changes, listening to the community. So that's always good. It's uh, it's nice to to know that uh, they are going to continue working on this. I I think the reason why I believed that um, that it was a relatively old game is because it's been on my radar for, for a considerable amount of time before release and I knew that I wanted to uh, give it a go and wanted to play it when I first when I first seen this game so uh, so I might have got a little bit confused there I do apologize but uh, December 2019 so December last year was when it was released and um, and yeah continuing to do updates on it and stuff so be nice to see a lot of the uh, a lot of what happens in the future I'm pretty sure that they are planning on putting other brand trucks in and stuff like that I was reading something about um, uh, you know people requesting that they put the Mercedes Benz in um, but Mercedes-Benz, uh, it even took, apparently it took SCS a very, very, very long time uh, and a lot of work to be able to um, get licensing for, for Mercedes. Uh, I think they put in a, a vehicle very similar to a Mercedes or pretty well exactly the same, but they rebranded it to something else. So... Uh, I assume that uh, for on the road and for the team on, on uh, who are doing this on the road, uh, it may actually be a considerable amount of time, if ever, that we get a Mercedes Benz. But um, certainly other other uh, brands that they could uh, put in here that that we're all used to driving. And uh, you know, I think there's probably some pretty exciting things happening in the future in this game. So. Uh, I, I, I would recommend that if you do like um, what you see in this and you do like some of the aspects that they've got in here, uh, definitely, definitely consider purchasing it um, and supporting it to move into the future. Because it's always good with, uh, with game development and stuff um, uh, and the whole early access thing and, and, and things like that. I mean, we, we all get burnt on... On early access games I mean I've been burnt on many early access games to the point where at one stage I said that's it no more I'm, I'm never purchasing a uh, an early access game ever again um, but uh, I think with something like this then you're probably pretty safe it's not early access it's a full game but uh, they do have a lot of extra content planned in the future and at some point uh, I will probably go through and read out and we can have a look at some of the uh, some of the roadmap that they have for the game and for the future development so uh, and as as a uh, somebody who studied and and has a uh, has qualifications and a degree in game development myself um, I do think that early access could be a good thing my, my biggest thing I think ab ab about early access is that it probably needs to be a little bit more controlled by Steam um, and Steam really need to put some, some sort of safeguard in place for their customers who, who are willing to invest in an early access game. Um, some, some, some of those have come out and, and they've just been a, a basically a blatant ripoff uh they've just been a money scam and a money grab and uh and they've and the games themselves have never gone anywhere roadmaps change constantly and roadmaps in game development do change constantly but i think when you're steering 
some of the, some of these that I've seen, some of the stuff that I've read about, and some of the early access games that I've invested in, um, they've changed their roadmaps completely. Um, they've changed their gameplay, they've changed their mechanics completely, and uh, you've invested in something that was going to be black, and they completely halfway through it change it to white. So you end up with something that was white, which is not what you wanted in the first place. Um, so there, there should be some, for, for early access, I think there should be some form of, um, let's get over here in front of this bus, there should be some form of, um, of ruling and some form of, um, of policing by steam of early access games because, uh, you know, what's going to happen eventually, and early access has been out for a considerable amount of time, but... Um, what's been happening a lot is people have been doing early access and they've been getting ripped off and less and less people as that happens are going to be inclined to actually purchase an early access game or invest in an early access game so um, I'm against big AAA developers bringing stuff out as early access uh, there are some AAA developers who never do that but always release a um, an un unoptimized, very, very buggy game, and then expect players who have paid a premium for that game to actually um, to actually iron out all the bugs and identify all the bugs. I'm totally against that. Uh, but in early access, the whole idea is that uh, that the community uh, who have invested in it play the game, identify the bugs, the developers continually to improve the game, repair bugs and uh, continue to expand on the game based on a roadmap that everybody's expecting to be followed through so yeah early access is one of those things isn't it um, you uh, you do or you don't um, and uh, for me being a game developer then I tend to invest but what I do now is, is I always do a uh, a lot of research on um, on what I am investing my money in because I can't afford to just go and spend money on every single game that comes out and uh, every single game that I want you know some stuff and, and a lot of stuff that you know some of the stuff that I play on my channel um, some of that stuff some of those games are a year a year and a half two years old and I've only just purchased them because I can't afford to be going and purchasing all of these things so a lot of the time I wait for stuff like that to go on special um, games like this I didn't wait for this one to go on special because I really wanted to give it a go um, which also brings me to another thing which is um, reviews on Steam now this game has um, some pretty bad reviews and its overall review um, rating or category at the moment is um, is mixed so it has mixed reviews uh, personally I can't uh, I can't understand why this game has mixed reviews and the one thing I look and I'm not criticizing anybody but um, you know the gaming community is a very fickle community um, they tend to uh, latch onto a game that they love and nothing else um, comes to, into comparison about it um, well we need to get over here there we go that's a bit lucky lucky I've seen that um, and uh, and nothing else compares and anything else that comes out that's similar or has a uh, has a similar concept to that uh, they criticize and they can and uh, before they've even played it or even uh, purchased it they hate it they absolutely hate it and that's the kind of <laughs> that's the kind of fickle community that the gaming community is so um, I do a lot of research, and I do buy I do buy some games that are um, that that have mixed reviews. I, I buy some games that have negative reviews, not straight off the bat, because I do a lot of research. I read a lot of comments, and I try and put all of the information together um, in, in all of the comments and all of the reviews that people do, and come to my own conclusion as to whether or not. Uh, those negative reviews are 
um, uh, are justified or not. And I think in a, in a majority of cases, probably 80, maybe 80% of the negative reviews that games get on Steam um, are not justified. And I think in the case of this game, um, this, this game, in my opinion, is absolutely fantastic. It's brilliant. It's got a, it's got it's got places to go. It's got expansions, uh, and I just missed our uh, turn off there because I was too busy talking. So we are going to have to go up and try and figure out how we're going to get around there. Um, yeah. So, I mean, in in effect, uh, I I don't think a lot of the negative reviews are justified, and. It's and I even did it. I even did it myself in the uh, in the introduction to this series and in the introduction to this game. Um, I make comparisons. I make comparisons to uh, American Truck Sim. I make comparisons to European Truck Sim. I also make comparisons to Firm Bus Simulator, to Tourist Bus Simulator, uh, which this game to me is um, is very much like. Um, but uh, but a majority of those reviews uh, for this game on Steam are f basically from, um, and I will say it, fanboys. From trucking sim fanboys. People who have invested a lot of time and a lot of money in playing uh, European truck sim, especially European truck sim. Um, and, you know, they, they come into something like this and they just... Uh, and they kind of just expect that they're going to get exactly the same thing, and and they don't. They don't get exactly the same thing, and for that reason, they they, they start basically criticising and slamming the game, and and I think that's unfair. I think it's unfair for developers, um, who who the developers who are doing stuff like this. I think it's uh, it's unfair for the gaming community as a whole to um, you know I, I do believe that a lot of people uh, will look at that overall review rating on a game and make their decision on whether or not they purchase that um, from those ratings and again I think that that's pretty unfair um, now is there any way that I can actually do a u-turn here somewhere it'd be nice if I could which means we're gonna we're gonna end up going um, way out of our way here because of my mistake there. Yeah, so it'd be nice to see. It'd be nice if if the the gaming community could develop some type of maturity in in regards to uh, the uh, the ratings that Steam have on these games. I mean, I know that it's probably a good thing for Steam to have ratings on these games um, to give you an idea of what the community thinks, but. Uh, I, I certainly, I certainly don't go in and look at a review and just make a decision based on that, um, because I know what this community is like. So I'm just going to have a quick look at the map here, guys. Okay, so we might be all right. Uh, let's see. Where are we at the at the moment? We're down here. Okay, so we'll continue to follow this. That's all right. Okay, so here we are at our uh, first drop-off point. We shall pull into here. Spin this truck around a bit. I will eventually, once I've learnt, um, once I've learnt the... Uh, the drop-off points and and things like that because I did do a drop-off at a service station uh, in a little bit of a play that I had yesterday and uh, and I had to turn I did have these uh, markers turned off which you can turn off obviously um, and uh, basically <laughs> I couldn't figure out exactly where the drop-off point was in the uh, at the service station so I had to turn them back on all right, let's jump out here. We shall uh, open our doors. There we go. 
And uh, we will see our cargo drop down after this. So delivery of headlights to Hanover. Okay. There you go. And we need to reverse in. So let's throw him in reverse. And uh, bring this truck in here. Okay, and stop. Uh, let's see, no uh, no price reduction, extra reputation, and uh, we've got some money there. So that's beautiful. Okay, so that's our first drop-off point there. Uh, and we have three drop-off points today, so that's pretty cool. That's another fantastic thing about this game, isn't it? Drop-off points. You can, uh, you can basically fill you, as you can see, our cargo's gone down a bit. You can basically fill your truck up completely and do five or six, um, possibly even seven, um, drop-offs if you, you know, if, if there's sort of a small pallet count, so maybe two or three pallets, you could probably fill that truck up with six or seven uh, delivery points and do them all at once, so... Uh, there's no driving through town now, uh, driving through towns without dropping something off and making money, so you make money on your way while you're doing your trip, and uh, yeah. Alright, so let's, uh, let's move on now. Uh, we need to put that in gear, obviously. And out we go, turn left here, and, uh, and head off. All right, so now our next uh, our next destination is highlighted in green, so it's removed that first destination from the uh, from the mix. Uh, we will, when we pull up here, have a look at uh, at what our current sleep time is. We might have to pull into a service station and sleep. We've still got five hours driving time, so. We'll try and utilise as much of that as we possibly can. I do believe we'll probably end up having to sleep prior to um, prior to our final delivery at some point, but uh, we'll see how we go. We may may find a service station on the freeway uh, with a maybe an hour's driving left or something, and um, and probably have a sleep then or so. The nine hour driving time, I'm not sure, is that the case in Europe? Do, are you only allowed to drive for nine hours, uh, be on the road for nine hours? Um, it seems relatively small to me. I thought it might have been, you know, maybe 12 hours, but uh, but I'm not sure because I, I, I don't drive trucks and I don't drive trucks in Europe either, so. Um, but yeah, it seems a little, perhaps a little bit uh, short, but. I'm not sure what the time ratio is on this on this game. How time, how quickly time goes by. Uh, if we look at the clock on the dash down there, uh, I could probably time that at some point. But uh, it looks like perhaps maybe less than half a minute is a minute on that. Uh, oh no, it'd be it'd be a lot less than that. All right. get out of Hanover and uh, and head up towards uh, towards our home base and our final deliveries just looking at the roof there because uh, I was having a sip of coffee and I didn't uh, pause my track IR sorry about that alright and this uh, playing this game has actually prompted me to um, to get back into Fernbus Simulator and do some runs on Fernbus Simulator, so you can probably expect to see some of that on the channel as well. I know I'm doing um, Tourist Bus Simulator, that's uh, from TML Studios, and TML Studios also do um, also do Fernbus Simulator. So, but uh, definitely getting on this has prompted me to do that. So, you can probably expect uh, to get some videos on that at some point. All right, I will see you when something happens or at our next destination, guys. Okay, guys, we've got some fuel coming up. Uh, we don't need fuel, but 
we are about th we've got about three hours left before we nap um, so I thought that we might just pull into here an interesting thing happened uh, I won't I won't stick it on the video because it was kind of there was nothing really to see but uh, I did have a merging problem um, and I merged into a car and it damaged the cargo I think it said something like two percent two percent damage or something so um, so that was interesting so it'll be interesting to see what type of penalty and stuff that we get at the end of this uh, we've we have plenty of fuel we really don't need to fuel up do we uh, two hours 53 minutes of driving time uh, I might actually keep driving and uh, see how we go I think uh, it's probably a waste of time pulling into there but uh, yeah I just want to say yeah so I, I actually merged I was merging onto the freeway um, and uh, I merged into a vehicle and uh, got some damage so I'm looking forward to seeing what type of penalty that gets me 2% damage and whether it damages all cargo or just the cargo for the uh, for our next delivery or, or what uh, it'll be interesting to see okay put some cruise control on and I will see you when we uh, when we get to our next delivery okay so we're arriving in Hamburg guys as you can see massive massive there's uh there's a port down here um there's it just it's it feels like it goes on forever and driving through here oh man if only the traffic if only there was more traffic to make it to make it feel absolutely lived in but uh, i mean look at all these buildings look at this area here it's just absolutely fantastic i love it absolutely love it going through a tunnel here we have uh, one hour and 38 minutes of driving time left so we may be able to get at the first of our two deliveries here done uh, before sleep time but uh, possibly not both deliveries but we'll see how we go I'm not sure how long it is before you uh, how far you can go over your nine hours before you uh, get yourself into strife and get a fine haven't managed to test that out yet but uh, we certainly don't want a fine when we're trying to run a company do we so all right we'll go around here and i will see you at our delivery guys but look how big this city is absolutely fantastic i love it i just thought i'd come back quickly for a sec guys and i, I just wanted you to see uh, I was talking in our uh, in the initial video that we did uh, about sunlight streaming in through the window of the cab and lighting up the dash and how absolutely amazing that looked and stuff. I mean, have a look at this golden light and have a look at the way it plays off uh, and the shadows play off the... Uh, <laughs> I've gone out again, we're going through a bit of light here. But uh, have a look at the way the shadows and the reflections play off this when we get back into the light. It's... Um, it's just magnificent. It's a uh, it's the, the, the light. I absolutely love the lighting. This this game's developed in uh, the Unreal Engine, uh, not the Unreal Engine, in Unity. Um, I would love to have seen what this game could have been if it was developed in Unreal Engine. I'm a little bit of Unreal Engine biased myself because that's what I learnt to um, uh, when I was doing my study. That's what I learnt to develop in. So. Uh, I'm a little bit biased in regards to that, but uh, this just looks magnificent. Look at the sunlight in the cab, going in and out of shadows. Um, when we were driving into the sun, it just looked uh, it just looked absolutely magnificent. So, all right. So this looks like this is our first delivery here in Hamburg. So we shall get in here. I'm not sure what happens with uh, deliveries for semi trucks because I'd hate to try and park a back a semi-trailer into there I'm not sure whether the deliveries are different but we're going to find that out and it'll be interesting to find that out so all right let's uh in here we'll throw him into reverse and reverse back a little bit but uh, we do need to um 
we do need to open our doors before we go too far back so we might just leave it there okay and uh, jump out of here and uh, yep headlights so we did have a massive load of headlights from uh, from that uh, truck repair place so let's go okay there open the doors up jump back in our scanner and reverse this in okay let's take it nice and easy there there we go uh, headlights so here we go damage two percent price reduction 84.28 euros and a 9.34 uh, reputation reduction for that damage so that's pretty cool and I, I am guessing the reputation does play a part in the gameplay uh, overall in what type of jobs you can get um, what type of trucks you can buy perhaps um, so yeah that, that's awesome all right so there we go that's uh, that delivery and we have one more delivery to do after this and then we're done so what have we got now we've got uh, 59 minutes I think about 59 minutes for sleep time so we may be able to get this delivery done if we're quick so let's close that off let's close that off one thing that I'd like to see is some damage modeling I've always wanted to see damage modeling in uh, in uh, the other simulation games as well uh, that would be good and dirt you know the ability to for your tra I mean in farm sim we're all we're all used to dirtying our tractors and uh, having to wash them and stuff it would be pretty awesome for uh, for overtime damage and dirt to to be on these trucks as well I think that'd be fantastic so we're not too far around the corner I don't think for our final delivery and uh, yeah multiple deliveries I mean how amazing is that you know fill your truck up utilize the space that you've got in your truck um, and uh, and gain maximum profits from it I mean that's pretty awesome to be able to do that I mean could you imagine if we could do that in other software and stuff but um, uh, uh, I'm, I'm blown away because it's just um, and it's and it's very intuitive you, you've select all of your jobs and stuff and uh, you don't need to order them uh, in uh, you know you don't need to load them in any particular order or anything like that any of your deliveries and uh, and the GPS uh, the game automatically nuts out on the GPS what deliveries you do first and which ones you do last so uh, in some kind of intuitive way which is uh, absolutely fantastic all right, and here we are at a truck service center, ready for our final delivery. I think we're down near the docks here, down near the port. You can see the uh, top of a ship just over there, over past the crane. Uh, let's get this guy in here. There we go. Let's throw him in reverse. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me turn your steering wheel in the right direction first. Okay. Jump out of here. Now sign these documents. And uh, for our final delivery in this episode. Jump in and back we go. Alright, so there is 2% on whatever whatever cargo was remaining in the truck when uh, when I had that emerging accident. Um, uh, definitely counts to that, so click OK for that and uh, we will pull this beast out a little bit. I'll just turn the headlights on. We'll pull him out to here. Now I still haven't worked out as yet uh, the whole truck service centre. Um, it would be nice to 
um, to know how you could repair your truck and stuff but I haven't worked that one out yet we need to change our mode up here because our driving time we made that just on time guys so that's pretty cool so confirm mode switch and rest period and I will take this card out now because uh, we're done all right let's uh, jump out of here and there we go multiple deliveries uh, all in the one load one trip two cities three deliveries absolutely brilliant guys like seriously um, you know you couldn't ask for more could you so all right I will see you in the next episode sorry that this one's dragged on a lot I uh, will cut it down a bit but it's saying that I've been recording for just over an hour now um, and I will see you in the next episode of uh, On The Road, Trucking Sim. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.